Hello and welcome to Zoom headquarters. We're excited to take you on a tour of our offices here in San Jose to show you everything that Zoom's been up to to help our customers facilitate for that safe return to the office, make the workplace exciting to usher in the future of hybrid work. Hey John. Hey, good morning Mona. We have our guests here ready to take them on a tour of headquarters. Sounds great, you're all set. What we just saw here is our virtual kiosk solution. So what we're using it for is a virtual reception use case. So receptionists could be in a completely separate building or floor, or even in the comfort of their own home. So we're facilitating that safe transition back to the office and uh, with a focus on allowing people to work from wherever they feel comfortable working. We also have the ability to configure multiple buttons on here. So for example, if you wanted to support uh, different languages to, to route to different subject matter experts, or the ability to route to different departments, uh, that, that's all included there. Tons of opportunities and use cases with virtual kiosk, super excited about it. And this is Zoom Digital Signage. Just like everything we're showing you on the tour here, it is completely powered from the Zoom platform and administered from that single pane of glass. You can push dynamic content playlists to all of your digital signage displays throughout the entire organization. For those external facing areas like lobbies, you can greet and welcome guests and visitors. And for all of your internal workspace area, you can keep your employees informed, updated safety protocols, as well as company events and general marketing and communications. The best part about this, as long as you have a single Zoom Room license in your entire subscription, there's no limit to the amount of digital signage displays that you can deploy. I have the ability to walk up to any Zoom digital signage display across the organization and share content wirelessly for my own device. You can take any Zoom meeting or webinar and broadcast it in real time to any of your Zoom digital signage displays. That is Zoom digital signage. This is Zoom room scheduling display. This gives your employees a very easy way to identify and reserve conference rooms and spaces right there on the spot. You'll notice we have LED indicators here on the sides. So if I'm looking down a hallway, I can see which rooms are available and which rooms are booked. I can walk up here and I can reserve this room right there on the spot either for this moment in time or for a point in time later in the day. I can even invite participants to that Zoom meeting, which will initiate an invitation that's sent out to them via email. If this room is booked solid, I also have the ability to go up and reserve another room. This pulls up a real-time look at the floor plan so I can identify a nearby conference room and book that totally separate room right there on the spot. You'll also notice I have the ability to display really important environmental information that's being captured inside of the conference room from the Zoom Room appliance. For example, we have the temperature being displayed up here at the top left. I can also display things like the people count or the real-time occupancy of the conference room, which is very helpful. Before I even open up that conference room door, I can see if that room is filled with people and we can enforce things like social distancing and encourage employees to go ahead and take that call from a different location if we're at capacity. Let's go ahead and take a look inside the medium-sized conference room. Hey everyone. So next, what we wanna show you is how Zoom is solving for the hybrid meeting dilemma. The whole world got so accustomed to consuming our meetings in gallery view, where you can see everyone equally, regardless of who's speaking and which device they happen to join in from. That presents some challenges when you start to incorporate conference rooms full of people into that hybrid meeting experience. So that's where Smart Gallery was born. Let's go ahead and show it in action. Hey everyone. So let me go ahead and turn Smart Gallery on so we can see the experience. So now what we're seeing is we have three video streams coming from this single camera Zoom Room appliance. That primary stream, you see the whole room view that's auto-framed so you get the context of who's in the room with me. But now what we see are two additional video streams that really get up close and personal with all of the members in this meeting from the conference room. The end result is delivering that more inclusive, democratized meeting experience regardless of where people are working, in the office, or working from home. And that's Smart Gallery. And here we are in a huddle space. At Zoom, we typically define a huddle space as two to four people in the conference room. What you'll notice is that we've standardized on an all-in-one Zoom room for touch device. There's a microphone array built into this, as well as speakers, camera, and a capacitive touch screen. You can deploy a Zoom Room for Touch with a Zoom Room controller if you'd like, but the magic here is that the user interface is directly on the screen. 
There's all sorts of local collaboration functionality here, as well as the ability to join not just into Zoom meetings, but other meeting platforms as well. Let's take a look at what we can do. Since it's a capacitive touchscreen, I have the ability to bring in Zoom digital whiteboarding. So I can go in there and change between different colors and ink weights. I can even turn on things like auto shape detection to perfect my brainstorming sessions here. Whiteboarding is an important part of the Zoom platform already. What we've done here is completely redefined the Zoom whiteboard experience. Let's take a look. Now, with Infinite Canvas, we have the ability to collaborate across a multitude of devices, no matter where people happen to be working, both in meeting as well as outside of meetings. These whiteboards are built over the course of projects, and we've incorporated things like different shapes and flowcharts and diagrams and virtual sticky notes. So with simplicity in mind, we've redesigned the whiteboard experience for all users, not just your power users. So from simple brainstorming and whiteboarding to more advanced workflows, that is the new Zoom whiteboard. Also have the ability to make phone calls directly from here. So it eliminates the need to have an audio conference phone right there on the table. You can do this directly from the Zoom room. The microphones are built in, the speakers are built in. We make it super simple for those situations where you just need to make a phone call. We also have the ability to share content wirelessly. So we make it very simple to go ahead and share content from your personal device up to the Zoom Room for Touch. And what's nice about this is you also still have the ability to use the whiteboard function. So if I wanted to go in there and start to annotate on top of any content that's being shared, I have that functionality directly on the system. For those situations where I do need to join into a meeting, I have the simple one-touch join experience directly on here. But again, in case some users are a little bit reluctant to touch anything, they also have the ability to use Zoom Room's native voice commands. So I could walk right up to the system and say, hello Zoom, join meeting. Do you want to join the meeting? Yes. Starting the meeting. So that was our huddle space here at Zoom headquarters with our Zoom Room for Touch. Pre-pandemic, this exact room was integrated with a Pro AV design. We had table microphones, ceiling speakers. Now we've consolidated all of the components you need for a Zoom room into a single unit. You provide the displays and that delivers the Zoom room experience to any space, including these large conference rooms. That brings scalability and simplicity to any room in your entire organization. With a single touch, I have the ability to pair my personal device with any Zoom room, allowing for that safe, touchless experience. Let's go ahead and see it. Now I've been able to start my meeting directly from my own mobile device. And as you can see, for the in-meeting experience, everything that I can do in a Zoom room controller, I can do from my personal device. So I can do things like mute the microphone on the Zoom room, mute the camera, all of the functionality that's built into a Zoom Room controller is now at my fingertips on mobile or desktop. Now this is a large conference room. While we vastly reduced the cost and complexity of deploying a Zoom Room into a space of this size, as you can see, we haven't compromised on the user experience or the quality here. This is a large Zoom Room. Here we are in an open collaboration space area. At Zoom, we call these flex spaces. And we started to see trends in workplace design long before the pandemic started. Gearing up for return to office, it's more important than ever to create those exciting workspaces that we talked about at the beginning of the tour. And so what we wanna do is showcase the innovation on the audio side that makes it possible to put a Zoom room in an open collaboration space area. And what that does is we focus on the immediate vicinity in front of this Zoom room and tune out all of the noise that falls outside of that perimeter. So what we're gonna do is showcase this. So what I'm gonna do is start to walk in this direction. And as I walk over here, you're gonna to continue to hear me. Continue to speak, I'm gonna walk my way back into the perimeter. And now you should be able to hear me clearly. And that's how we filter out unwanted noise that's happening outside of the perimeter here. With Zoom workspace reservation, I have the ability to bring my own personal Zoom experience into any space. With a simple check-in experience, now I see all of my personal meetings and contacts right on the Zoom phone appliance or a Zoom room. This becomes my personal workstation while I'm in here. And that's Zoom workspace reservation. Your employees are more mobile than ever before. Zoom phone travels with you throughout your entire day, anytime, any place. Here's a call right now.
Hey Jane. Yeah, hang tight. I'm gonna transfer this to my desk. Now I've got Jane on my Zoom phone appliance. I'm gonna go ahead and elevate this to a face-to-face. -face. Hey John. Hey there. Let's take a look at that document. Sounds good. Alrighty. Looks great. I've got some ideas. Let's take this into a private space. So this looks good here, but I do think we need to tighten this up. Otherwise, Jane, I think it looks great. I think we're ready to roll. And here we are in our hybrid learning environment. What we want to showcase here is that you don't need to deploy a complex Pro AV solution into a classroom like this. We have vastly simplified the experience by deploying an all-in-one Zoom Room for Touch device. This device is all that you need to transform your classroom into a full hybrid learning environment. So let's take a look at how it works. And here we are in a meeting, and we're gonna show you this hybrid learning environment. We've heard from instructors just like you that they need the ability to move freely throughout the entire classroom environment. What you'll notice is the camera will always auto frame me throughout the entire space. So this allows instructors to focus on what matters most, which is the education and the students, and not get distracted by the technology. Instructors can use peripherals like document cameras to bring real world objects right into the hybrid learning experience. As you've seen on today's tour, Zoom is totally redefining the modern workplace. Reach out to your account team to learn more about how we're empowering the future of hybrid work.